This is Steve Ridgel, and well, Sunday is Mother's Day, and so this is my real quick reminder for you to say a word to all the mothers in your life. Now, some of you are going, what do you mean mothers? I have one mother. Well, this is my annual reminder that you probably have several mothers you want to thank this Mother's Day. Now, one is obviously your birth mother. If you have a good relationship with your birth mother and she's still uh, living in this world, then you need to thank her. Send her flowers, send her a card, just a phone call. Show up at church with her. Any of the, those things will make a difference with your mom. If your mom has passed from this life and you're a believer, you ought to thank God for your mom, that she loved you and raised you. Now, some of you are thinking, but I don't have a good relationship with my mom. She wasn't the kind of mother I needed. You know what? If you're a believer, I, I'd encourage you to reach out. If both of you know the relationship strained, then just say, you know, I know we've had some differences, but I, I want you to know thank you for bringing me into this world. Or if you can't say that, just an acknowledgement and say, I just wanted to send you this on Mother's Day and don't take it any further. Who knows what reaching out may do. But here are some other mothers you need to acknowledge. If your grandmothers are with you, be sure and thank your grandmothers or your great-grandmother and say, I wanted you to know, Happy Mother's Day. Thank you for being such a great nana, grandmother, mimi, whatever it is. Uh, please do that. Some of you, if your daughters are grown and they're moms, you ought to give a Mother's Day card to your daughters and say, thank you for raising my grandkids. You're doing a great job. Some of you have mother figures that were in your life, ladies from church or maybe school teachers that were almost more like a mom. And if you can find them and contact them, you ought to say, thank you for not just being my teacher, but really at a time when I needed a, a motherly role model. You showed me what a mom could be like. Thank you. Maybe it's ladies at church that took a special interest in you or your kids, and you want to say to them, thank you for being a role model as a mother for me. Maybe it's just some ladies you admire from a distance, and you want to say, I've watched you raising your kids. Maybe it's some struggling moms you see. We have single moms in our church that it's tough. They have fought to raise kids, and it's hard. Maybe you just want to say, on this Mother's Day, I wanted to give you a word of encouragement and say thank you. And I tell you who else maybe needs need something from you on Mother's Day. The ladies who always wanted to be a mom and it hasn't happened for them. Now, that may be because they never got married. It may be because they can't have children. It may be that their children have died. I, there's all sorts of moms who hurt on Mother's Day. Now, I, I'm not one of those who says, well, some people might be hurt. Don't do Mother's Day. I, I don't think that's the, and I don't think they'd want that approach. But I do think you could have something that says, thank you for, even though you don't have biological children, for being a mother to so many of us that need a hug, a pat on the back, a word of encouragement. Maybe it's appropriate to say that. Maybe it's appropriate just to say, man, I, I, some days are tough, but know that you are loved. But I want to tell on this Mother's Day, just reach out and cover the bases with a lot of ladies that have either or have been blood mothers, been mothers in spirit. You watch them being good mothers or struggling to be good mothers or can't be good mothers. They all need a little pat on the back and an I love you on Mother's Day. So this is Steve Ridge reminding you that Sunday's a good day to pay some attention to the special women in your life.